It'll be all right. It'll fade. I'm going to paint it. Hey, guys, and welcome to Waste Out Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at, what time is it? 10, 10 a.m. Mountain Time <laughs> to show you the junk that we're going to make over. A lot of times it's things we've got for free on the side of the road or things that we've thrifted. I think for the new year, new me uh or do us it's gonna be a lot of thrift it's gonna be a lot of thrift flips because we are working on cleaning out our garage so if you guys have projects to do, grab them let's paint along um everything that we have here was like under five bucks except for that situation so zeb will tell you what he's got going on with that and i'm I, just gonna fix this little birdie's legs i basically paid 35 dollars for this giant wood frame little on the high end for this frame but it's wood uh, I don't find this size often, especially at the thrift store. I would have liked it to be a little more ornate and we could do like IOD molds and stuff all over this. I'll flip it over here in just a sec when I'm done pulling the nails out and show you the print. The print is not, it's okay. Like if it had been a little more crisp and not scratched from probably being moved a bunch of times or at the thrift store, I may have just left the print in there and possibly painted the frame. Another thing we're running up against is that it smells very strongly of cigarette smoke. And most people these days do not want to purchase something that's going to smell like we had it in the car for five minutes and we were like wanting to roll the windows down smell. So, so we fixed that. We left it outside all day yesterday. And then this morning we got a can of shellac. We like the spray can because we don't want to have to clean it out of a brush. And Zeb did two coats of shellac on every square inch inside, outside, around, and otherwise. And that will help seal that yucky smell in. It is not non-toxic, so you definitely want to do it outside. Um, but it's the only thing we've ever found. And if it still smells after two coats, then you need three coats. This wasn't horrible. Like, I've had some things that I'm like, just burn it. This just had a slight smell to it, and so we could smell it in the car. So it's now it just smells like shellac. Once it dries completely and cures, it won't smell like that. So we'll be well, good. To and paint I'm going to use Salvation Solution because I want the. We're going to paint over this print. I know, I know. Some of you like it, which is fine, but it's so long, it doesn't even fit on camera. Like this is over five feet. I printed out a 61 inch uh, print. I'll show you in a sec. And I'm just using wood glue and air dry clay, like the IOD air dry clay, to repair this bird. And then once it dries, it'll be good as new. And then I'll be able to paint it. I may save some of these staples. There's an awful lot of them. <laughs> an and and use them to hammer back in. I'm just over here off camera pulling staples. You're not missing anything. It's funny because Zeb wants to fix everything and he actually wanted to leave this bird at the store. And I was like, no, it's really cute. And then it sold right away. So somebody else thought it was cute too. So I'm just kind of sculpting where I'm repairing it with this clay. We've actually got a bunch of new people that have joined the channel and following along. And they ask, we've had several people ask, like, are you really repairing all of that stuff? And is it worth the time? Um, sometimes we get into it. Sometimes it's a passion project. And we're project. like, oh man, this is more work than we thought it was going to be to repair, but we plow through and, and get it done anyway. And sometimes it's pretty easy and straightforward and it's totally worth it. It, it, it averages out. So the crack was just right across here <laughs> and I just took the air dry clay and I just used my finger to, to kind of sculpt it down. And then I've gone in the back. You can kind of see the wood glue pooch it out. And I will let this get a little crust on it. And then I can go ahead and paint it and it will dry and it'll be just fine. Cause it did have, it wasn't just broken. It also had wire going through the resin. So that will just make it even more sturdy once this clay and glue dries. Okay. Now so, is it blurry or did it no, fix itself? It's very dark for whatever reason. So maybe just cause the print is catching it. This is the print that was on there. From this distance, it probably looks amazing. It is passing the six foot art rule. IRL, it's not great. You, you even shellacked in whatever. There was like there. soda or something. I tried wiping it that. I don't know what it is. It didn't come off. Um, but let me show you. It's got some scratches and scuffs, and that's this is pretty. It's it's all over. 
And then whatever these spots are, I tried wiping those off and they look like soda or something or tea, something spilled on it. Pee? No, tea. Oh, I thought you said pee. I'm like, it doesn't look like pee. But Gross. anyway, this is just, and this is just like thick cardboard that is printed on. So it's not even wood. I'm going to go ahead and get started painting this. I do not have it for you, but Debbie did launch a new stencil. She's going to be collaborating with Jamie Ray Vintage. So definitely go check out Debbie's Design Diary and watch her video. And if you're wanting to order Debbie's new stencil, it is the flower leaves and stem only. The bird is coming in the next release. So just want to clarify it's a that. fun collaboration. Um, we love collaborating with Debbie. It's a layered set. So you it it's made so each flower has a base and then a top layer. So that way you can really get artistic with it. And it's $39.95 for all the flowers, the leaves, and the stems. And is available for purchase now through us, through a JRV retailer that may be carrying it. There are some DIY paint retailers that will be carrying it or from Debbie. So be sure to get those ordered if you want them and stay tuned in another few, two, three, probably three weeks. We'll have a second release from her with the rest of her stencil line. This one we pushed out because she just had her video um, ready to go. And so we wanted you guys to be able to buy it. So super excited. One of the first releases of 2024. We have lots of fun stuff coming. Oh, also there was something else. Oh, before I get started, I want to show you guys the craft kit. If you haven't seen it for the first quarter, you can still order it. It's shipping out by the end of the month. Where did you put it? It was over here. It's right down there. Oh, in the pile of stuff. Um, and it gets a, you get a wall pocket and then we designed this paper. It's kind of wrinkled because I shoved it inside there, but we're going to be decoupaging this custom paper that we made just for the craft kit onto the front of the wall pocket and we're gonna be um, painting it and the kit will include everything you need to do to do that. So you'll get the liquid patina and the paint and all that stuff in the kit as well as the pocket and the bird. So hopefully maybe Friday we'll get this video done so you guys can see that craft kit complete. All right, so this is Salvation Solution. It's made by DIY paint and it comes, it's very thick. It also comes in clear. This is a stain blocker and it will lock any smells that maybe the spray shellac missed. I need a white backdrop for my art anyway that I printed out because that'll make it brighter. I printed it out on new rice paper we're testing out. Um, among all the releases this spring, we're also coming out with new uh bigger decoupage paper we won't be buying we won't be printing any of this large um, no this is this is custom i just like if i find a frame you know the the benefit of owning the printer uh and the the rights to the art is i'm going to probably print some custom sizes for our stuff but you will be able to get it probably in a uh a larger size 30 i would say 30 uh five and a half by 24 inch format so Zeb, by the end of the month. Zeb is using Salvation Solution primer yeah. um, because when you put rice paper, well, actually rice paper is pretty thick. You don't necessarily have to paint it, but careful not to get primer on your floors. Yeah, I'm, I'm being very careful. This um, stuff is potent and it, it won't seals come in stains, wood tannins. It can even seal in some smells. So we thought it would be helpful with that. And it's white. So we figured we use this instead of paint. I'm going to be using DIYs um, and crockery here on my frame. This is our frame that we had from this week. There was a price sticker right here and it peeled off the silver finish. So we've got to repaint the whole thing. And then Zeb printed me out. We're working on, these are not out going to be released yet or anything, but we're working I on think some new. You, I think you can count on this one for spring and Easter. <laughs> we're this top Maybe. one here. We're working on some new smaller rice paper for a release. The small rice paper release will probably happen before the big one because <clears throat> we got that one down. The big one, there's a lot of things involved. It's pretty spendy for the big rice paper, way more expensive than tissue paper. And then we also have to figure out like how we're going to ship said giant papers because it's thicker than tissue. So we've got a lot of kinks to work out, but I'm gonna be painting this crockery then we're going to put bunnies in all this and make it super cute. You do one wall pocket, you will want to do another one. Probably. We're going to see if we can get more wall pockets. We've had un petit struggle with our manufacturer of the wall pockets. Ivy is working with them. So I don't want to promise anything, but 
There may be more available afterwards to purchase if you guys want to make do more outside of that craft kit. We'll see. All right, so I'm just going to do one coat, and I'm going to show you up close in a sec. This is having a wicking effect with the shellac was already on here. I did two. It probably coats. wasn't all the way cured. Yeah, it might not have been cured, but I mean, it was it was dry to the touch, so it probably wouldn't activate with this. But we're still wicking some stains and things through. You're going to see that with the salvation solution. And honestly, if you were to seal your paint, you'd probably see it if you had paint on there too. As soon as you sealed it with like a liquid, it would pull whatever through because it wicks like a candle uh, wick does when the paint as the paint's drying. And that's when you get like bleed through and stains and stuff. And you're like, it was perfect before I sealed it. Yeah, if you were going to paint over the top of this, you'd let it dry probably three or four hours, then do a second coat of primer and then let it dry overnight before you paint it. So like if this was a piece of furniture and you were using the primer for bleed through issues, that's what you would do. The instructions are actually on the cans in case you forget. But in this application, we're going to be putting an entire sheet of rice paper over it. So one coat will dry it, we'll rice paper it. We're not going to see the bleed through through the rice paper because the rice paper is not super light. So it's not going to come through. All right. It is currently like 30 degrees outside, but the sun is shining. So I'm going to go put this out in the sun to assist in the dry time. Oh, I told you I was going to show you. Can you see the color? Is that showing up on camera, Jamie? Um, it no. just looks like it's blinding your eye. There's like little tan and like little stains coming through that you can see. Once this dries, you'll be able to paint over it and lock it in. And I'm just gonna do two coats of crockery. I'm not doing full coverage because I actually love that you could kind of see some of the detail of the frame um, through the crockery. And then I'm going to do a dark wax. Do you sell those aprons like Zeb? We used to. I will see if I can get some more I've aprons. worn it twice now and we probably need to get I some because we keep getting I asked. have to see. <laughs> they, they stopped carrying them for a little bit, but I will see if I can get some more. If we get some more, I'll have them wear it next week. And next week, we're going to be working on the open sign at the shop. <laughs> Odelia is covering because Kazaya is out of town and Maria had um, a family thing to go to. And so she texted me this morning. She's like, hey, next week, why don't you redo the sign? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do then. Let's get this all. For those of you that were wondering, my mother is back. Everybody keeps asking if grandma's back. My mom is back in town. All is right in the world. The dogs are happy. The kids are happy. We are happy. She's a fan <coughs> favorite over here. Excuse me. Thanks, Alicia. She says she shopped with us yesterday and glad to catch the live with us working on it. Yeah, we do try to paint as much as we can paint on camera so you guys can see that. All right. Can you scooch for just a I'm sec? I'm almost so I can... done and then I'll move. Well, when you're done then. So this is the print that's going to be going in there. This is, oh, it's a, just a pastoral print landscape from the 1800s. Um, and now it's printed on rice paper. It's not the actual art, obviously, but... That's going to fit in there really nice. So I'm going to go with crockery as well. And I'm going to probably use some gold and dark wax on this frame. I do have this like kind of looks like burlap mat and some gold on this frame. And we're going to paint over that because the mat also got shellacked. And I think that's where some of our smell was coming from. It was holding it. Everybody loves that print. Ampers, well, it's actually Sarah, but her YouTube name is Ampers and Unique Gifts. Says she can't get enough of crockery. It is really good. It's really good. Where'd you go with the crockery? Um, Join late. So did you say if Debbie has, so Debbie has one new stencil that just released that's available for purchase. She's and then, doing two this spring that I know of. No, there's more than that. There's like, oh, are there more? There's two or three more coming out. And somebody was like, how come there's a, that I know of. <laughs> how come it didn't get all released at once? Because Debbie's had the stencils, at least a few of them, since like the end of the summer. And then last week, she's like, I have a video coming out. So we got the first one ready and into production, and we're getting the other ones going. So that's why. 
So creativity is not always an organized thing. So we just do our best. I need like a pen or a marker. Um, there should be Sharpies in there somewhere. I mean, everybody keeps hot pink Sharpies in their knife drawer, right? Yeah. So the problem I'm going to have, I think, is that this one is really big. So I guess I could just do like the bottom I would do face. that one, yeah, in the front. And maybe you could use some of the floral and some of the tiny little ones. Okay. Huh. The trouble is we're going to show this paper and people are going to be like, I got to have that. Because this one is really good. This hair with the little floral around it is perfect for spring and Easter. And I know we still got about like 90 ish days left of winter, official winter, but we're, we're moving full spring decor mode. Uh, bring on the bright and airy. Although we haven't had the doom and gloom storms every week. Like we did I last year. I saw PTSD from last year. Last year is like every week we just got pounded with like four to six inches of snow at least once a week down here in the Valley and the mountains got over 800 inches of snow. That's a lot of snow. Not the case this year. Did you pull out scissors? Oh, there they are. Um, I have some scissors right here, I think, unless you found some. There should be a few oh, sets. I grabbed another pair. I didn't see them under all those brushes. So this is kind of the mat that was on that frame. So I'm trying to try to use it like a, a guide for cutting this rabbit here. See. So probably going to have to do two coats because this got a little shiny with the shellac. It's got kind of a, you can use it as a sealer, but just know it's going to like yellow. It has like a yellow tint to it. Um, and I would say probably a satin to semi-gloss sheen when it dries, the, the shellac does. So this is, it'll still, this will stick good. It'll be fine. I just have to cut this a certain way so that way... It doesn't overlap this other photo that I got to put one in. The problem is, like, do I tape it on here? How do I keep this from moving? I'll probably have to um, do we have. Do we have any, like, packing tape, their scotch tape yet? I've just been using this on all the art stuff, like a scotch. I guess I could like use a... it where it's not going to show, huh? Yeah. All right. Let me just cut this. Probably a much easier way to do this, but I'm just going to do it the way that makes sense in my brain. To see if there's any questions. We're good. I think we're going to go thrifting today. The next video, we're probably going to have some furniture painting on. We sold, you guys remember the pink table that we did, the pink milk paint with the stained top? That sold is being shipped to California next month. Um, and so we've got to find another piece to take its place. So we'll do that today-ish. Ish. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You can never- It may trickle into tomorrow. Uh, we got, we're trying to start our dining table and all that. So Yeah, the dining table build will be on the Jamie and Zeb channel, which is separate. We're starting to do more building and like- gardening and cooking and things like that on that channel it's it's been about eight days since i put a video up it's been but 10. it's coming has it been 10 10 days yeah i looked on the channel it's coming so that'll be the next the table build will be on that channel yeah we might include some of the painting of the table on jamie ray vintage but the straight up like strict tutorials of painting furniture don't do as well and we have been really busy so we have to thrift a lot so we're probably going to do a lot of videos that en encompass thrifting a piece and then showing you flipping it in all in the same video people seem to really like that so that's working out well for us okay this so if you've noticed a trend with uh <clears throat> all the frames and the printing and things uh we're trying to get more art in people's houses people don't have enough art in their homes hey. They have words with si sides with words on them, yep. which is fine. So do I. But yeah, that's where those, a lot those of are fun, and those... they they're really great around like holiday seasons when you want something quirky. El Nino causes this weather. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Do 
you always got to blame it on the kid. <laughs> yeah. If you don't speak Spanish, Nino is a kid, specifically a boy child. It's masculine. I speak a slight bit of Spanish. Oh, thanks, Carol. She's in Ireland. How's your weather in Ireland? How do you determine pricing? So for for what? For the thrift flips, that's always done based off of comparable sales, almost like a realtor looking up how to sell a house. Or it's just we know we've sold enough that we know what we can sell it for. If it's art, that's dependent upon like how long it takes us, the ultimate value of the item. The size. Um, like this piece here is going to be uh, significant because it's a large piece of art. We also have to make sure that we're charging enough for the products. And we don't charge based off of what we pay for them. We charge based off of what somebody else would have to pay because not everybody has invested in the equipment, right? Like, so we have a $5,000 printer, $2,400 in ink, $500 roll of rice paper. Like it adds up pretty quickly. And so we need to make sure that we're charging enough to cover what it would cost somebody else to have it professionally printed. And a print this large would probably be somewhere in, in the high quality inks, I guess, around $300. Somewhere the there, because it's archival ink and it's an odd size. It's not like a uniform standard size. So that plus the cost of the cost of the frame and matting and all of that. So, and then if it were to like, if we were to put it online, which I don't plan to, we would also figure out how much it would cost to have it courier shipped because something this large, you couldn't just stick this in a box. Like this would have to be, this would cost the same to ship as like a piece of furniture. Yeah. Like minimum, it would probably cost like three or $400 to have this shipped with a courier service. And if, honestly, I don't know that the frame is, I don't know that they can hold up to that. <laughs> well, I think if you were to put cardboard on each side and James were to get it. Yeah. James could, James could deliver this. He delivers all of our furniture. He does a really good job. Yeah, I've actually. Pam says she can't wait to see the buddy collage. What I'm not sure, like this is fine, but this one you can kind of see the dark silhouette behind it, but I think it'll be okay. I think once you get it in the frame, it'll be all right. Yeah. I can't wait. To we see do have some other things to paint if we get past these frames. I know we do a lot of frames lately. We got a candlestick here. If you guys remember this tote, it's been about a month in the garage. It just needed sanded because it had a really shiny spray paint finish. Um, we might get to painting this tote. I just realized I put the exact same bunny below this bunny, and I probably should have. Sorry, buddy. You're going to go somewhere else. Yeah, I, I used that one in the collage. The big bunny got reused. Yeah, because so, it was good. I liked that one probably the best out of all of them. That was my favorite. <clears throat> Yesterday we were supposed, to, or Monday we were supposed to be taking the day off, and we wound up doing a bunch of design work on my computer and had Photoshop open. But that's kind of fun. Yeah, the, the design, when I have the time. The design part's awesome. Yeah. Unless you're up against the wall and you're not feeling like if you're not if, in the mood. inspiration's not striking, then it can be a tedious but we've uh we usually don't have a problem with inspiration sometimes we have difficulty getting the exact look we want oh also we hit two hundred thousand subscribers oh, so thanks yes. to everybody that shared that thank out. you guys it's actually been going like strong like we're yes. well past two hundred thousand. it's now. been growing our thrifting videos are getting a ton of plays so we have a bunch of new subscribers it's really worked out well because we've needed to do more thrifting so it's good. And then we can do like thrift flips on the end of the videos. Our video content is always whatever we happen to be doing in real life. When we first started our YouTube channel, it was, we were doing custom work. And so we would just film whatever people were paying us to paint. Just trying to get this kind of like on the edge. So that way. So once we're all said and done with getting this print in here, I will take a nice new piece of, uh, brown paper and line the back but that is currently over at the shop so we won't see that on video but i basically just take a piece of paper and then glue it down over the back here kind of helps protect it although this is on pretty the, the the board i just painted is like a pretty stout cardboard like pressed board almost wood 
Yes, um, Ampers. If you use like U Ship or whatever, we have a relationship with a um, shipper, but if you use U Ship or whatever, you can choose like a white glove service and they come pick it up, they package it, they insure it, and then they deliver it to your customer's door. Um, and it's it's great. If it's smaller furniture, sometimes I will, um, sometimes I'll ship it UPS. It takes a good amount of time to get it boxed up. And then there's a bunch of supply fees involved in as well. Sometimes it'll take two or three hours of an employee's time to box it up, but it can be done on smaller like nightstands and stuff. We just shipped, we had a table that you guys probably saw, it had like a marble top and it was, I think we painted it Americana. I can't remember. Maybe we painted it Sweetie Jane. It sold and it was in the front of the shop for a while. And we boxed that up, but it took a hot minute and lots of foam. So if you're just starting to do like furniture and you want to ship it, you might consider doing smaller pieces. Check the measurements first to make sure it doesn't exceed UPS's max dimensions and you can you box it up. You can use foam. I mean, we shipped a sink from England, so it can be done. This yeah, is that, really... was fun. that was that was fun getting that packed up in like an Airbnb. Describe fun. The, it took me, it was a challenge. It took me probably an hour and a half, maybe two, to get that boxed up and all wrapped up. I but might. it arrived alive, which, you know, now it's probably going to go live in the cottage yeah. once we get around to that. That's coming up here. We keep talking about it, but we're getting to the point where I can no longer put it off. It'll, it'll, it'll get moved to the priority list just because the building needs to be, uh, needs the heat and power turned back on and all that. If stuff. you're new here, we have a cottage behind our shop that we are, we have another channel called Jamie and Zeb. And we are going to renovate that and turn it into an Airbnb. Um, and that's all, that's the other reason for the thrifting videos. They're pretty easy to put together. And it's going to allow us more block time at the end of the week to complete bigger projects like construction projects, land development, because we do own some land. And so it's just working out well for us there. And we'll, we'll be filming like all of our remodel stuff, but that'll go up on Jamie and Zeb. One of the things we've learned with YouTube is you really got to do what people are coming to your channel for. So we can't just like throw up remodel stuff on this channel because some of our subscribers aren't into it. So we just have a new channel. And, and cooking videos and you yeah, know, all the gardening. like All the things that we don't do on here, but that we still do because we're chronic like we did a DIYers. Bunch of gardening and cut canning all summer. You yeah, know. <laughs> that's all on Jamie and Zeb. So if you want more... It's there. Okay, this is working out well. This is like a puzzle getting this in here properly. All right. I think this should be dry enough. I can flip it and do a second coat. And then we can start working on the finishes like the dark waxes and. Somebody said, is there, why am I not decoupaging these on here? Because could, I don't have to. Could decoupage them, but. And they're, it's going to go under glass, so it's not necessary. And whoever buys this, they can just take all these buddies off and then do whatever they want with the frame after the fact. Well, I made a mess. If it wasn't under glass, I would definitely decoupage it. But it's going to go under glass. Yep. The, it's printed on rice paper, so it decoupages like a drain. We have no estimate for new papers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I would like to say I knew, but I haven't printed enough off to get a good picture of how much ink each print because I'm they're like high quality prints. So it like dumps a ton of ink out on them. Yeah, we need more R&D. <clears throat> but check out the decoupage papers. If you're new here, we have hundreds of stencils. I think we got like tons of decoupage designs. Close to 50 so designs. you might find some things you're interested in just in our current repertoire. Um, to keep you busy while you're waiting on us to to get this finished here. And even if you're not new, like we have lots of good Valentine's stencils. We have a great um, Valentine's decoupage tissue paper that's relatively inexpensive and you can do a ton of projects with it. 
So lots of stuff there. All right. I'm almost done with this. If you guys are still sticking with me, arranging these bunnies. Thanks, Caitlin. She dropped a link to the smaller rice paper. If you guys are watching the replay, um, sometimes the links don't show up, especially on YouTube, because that's in the live chat. You just have to go to jamierayvintage.com. Uh, make sure to spell Jamie, J-A-M-I. And we have everything that we use on there. And if you ever can't find anything, we have a pretty good search bar. Or you can email info at jamierayvintage.com. And Caitlin is our full-time customer service rep. And she is the bomb. And we'll help you answer questions or find whatever you need. Okay. I'm getting there. This bunny actually fits almost perfectly, which is nice. Because the other ones required some MacGyvering. Oh, it's time to fix the camera, Caitlin says. Oh. We've been on half an hour. Well, that went quick. Right? I'm like... I think we're just going to get these two projects done today. We'll see. No, I'm almost, <clears throat> I got to draw. Well, maybe this is big. <laughs> well, maybe. I got, oh, my foot is time to sleep. Can you tell us the name of the shellac? It's just shellac. Uh, bullseye. It's Zinzerbin. Zinzerbin bullseye shellac. Comes yep. in a spray can. Um, we buy it at Home Depot. I know they sell it at Ace. You might be able to order it on Amazon. I normally just go to Home Depot because I know exactly where it's at. I don't know that Lowe's carries it because I've looked a few times. They didn't have it. So Zinzerbin shellac or it's, is it bullseye? Zinzerbin yeah, bullseye? It's actually a Rust-Oleum product, but, oh. but they, they had, they bought them out. They have it. It's like, we don't, it's we don't do special sized prints. Sorry to interrupt. I just had a question. Um, we don't do it. We're not a print shop. We do it for our printer stay. We have two printers. We have a smaller commercial printer that we use primarily to do this size paper. It can go bigger. And then we have our big Mama Jamma printer that does the larger prints and we're doing research with. And we don't have a staff like Zeb prints everything or I do. And so we're just not set up. And I don't know that I ever want to be a custom print shop. That's just a whole, that's like a whole business in and of itself. And you get so busy with that that you can't do any of your own work. We just, instead of like manufacturing elsewhere, we are manufacturing in-house. Our tissue papers are still subbed out, um, but hopefully we'll be able to do those eventually ourselves. Tissue paper is interesting, to say the least. It's, uh, it's not easy to print. You have, there's like not actually a printer designed to do it. And the company we use like MacGyver, their printer. If you don't know what MacGyver is, you'll have to look up the show, but he's a guy that makes anything work. Okay. We're going to have this bunny repeated on here because it's okay. It's what I got, but it's not going to be like the whole. It'll be a little bit different. Bunny. How are you in chat, but sitting at the table? So that's not me chatting. That's Caitlin. Caitlin is my niece. And she's, she's logged in customer service manager. She's logged into our account. Yep. Last week she was not feeling well. And so I had to manage the chat and try to do the live video. And I can tell you, it's a lot easier when Miss Caitlin's here handling the situation. Okay. Today we have 642 people on. Hey, that's pretty good for a yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday it's, so we, and it's, it, we stream on YouTube and, oops, that's up a little high. We stream on YouTube and Facebook. So it's kind of hard to keep track of all that. So Where we definitely need help. the crockery lid? The crockery lid. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, but I think I just got my elbow with that. Who was down over this way? Huh? It was over here. What, the lid? Yeah. I don't know. I just looked. <laughs> it's, oh, it's back behind you. Listen, I'm doing very delicate work here. I'm in the bunny zone. No, it's got to go. All right. I'm going to just dry this off real quick so that we can move on ahead. Normally, you'd let this just dry on its own. It doesn't take too long. Be careful if you do use a heat gun because it will bubble because it does have a built-in sealer. This is the cottage color. So... We have Debbie's stencils in our stencil line that she designs, but JRV manufactures. 
And the cottage color is our paint that we come up with the colors and DIY paint manufacturers. So we have a, a multifaceted work relationship. All right, I sure hope I got this blue tape out of sight on this. I'm about to find out. Oh, I forgot. What? There's what one whole forget? picture missing. I'm getting there. <laughs> you missed this one here. That's but I don't right. have it. I don't have another bunny that I haven't duplicated. Um, I guess I, I could try to do some floral over there. Yeah, you have. Do you have this big corner of floral? Yeah, just put the bunnies, the back end of that big bunny, and some floral in there. <clears throat> Where's the floral? Sorry, guys. I'm all phlegmy this morning. I had a cold like probably 10 days ago now, and cold's gone, but the phlegm and the, Just the what they drainage wanted to hear is about not. This morning. It's, it's super attractive. I know. It's great. You can tell we yeah. have kids. We're like, we got buggers. That's mm. what we got over here. Yeah. Somebody's like, you guys are sick a lot. We're actually not. What I missed the other day, it had nothing to do with a virus had everything to do with uh, magnesium that I took on an empty stomach. I won't go into details on that one. And oops, I made that real skinny. Well, and I think the difference is like, it's noticeable when we are sick because well, we I mean, are pretty consistently on like, you know. We don't miss very often. Five, five to four to five videos a week. Do we have an extra one of this floral bunny situation? I did not cut that properly. And when we're sick, we don't take off. Like we just keep working. The drop cloth looks cool. I mean, people ask us all the time. You guys should make art with them. Like so, this is like a six-month-old drop cloth. It's I, about on its last leg. It's about I to can't, be replaced. I can't put that out into the world with my name on it. I know some people do, but it's just not my jam. We just use it until it has holes in it. And then even then we use it. Sometimes it's solid. All right. I'm going to have to get another sheet of paper. Do you have anything printed upstairs? Um, so if you look to the left of the kid's computer, there's a bunch of misprints possibly. Or right there by my computer, there's some canvas prints that didn't turn out how I wanted. But I need floral that matches. I don't know if they'll go with this bunny though with your hair collage. That's gonna turn out pretty fun though with that frame. I don't know if she's gonna go with dark wax on hers or not, or distress. I'm probably not gonna distress mine. I'm just gonna do some dark wax on it. We're almost there. We're almost to the finish work here. We usually shoot for an hour, but sometimes we go over. An hour is about perfect because then we got to go do other things. Or right now the kids are still home on, on uh, winter break. They, uh, they go back Monday. It seems like it's been a long break though, like longer than normal. Probably because we haven't had any snow days this year, which... I don't know why they worry about it because there could be a foot of snow out there and they don't do a snow day. <laughs> I'm just printing out another one. So, oh, okay. I'm going to put another coat on this and then. So, I was noticing when you had your collage sitting out here, I may need to invert some of those images so that, like, because even though they're different bunnies, they look similar because they're all hairs, not rabbits, hairs. There's a difference, apparently. I didn't know. Please go into details about magnesium. Well, I will say that before you start any supplement, you should have blood work done and consult with your doctor. I'm in no way a supplement salesperson, but magnesium is something that most people are lacking and it's helpful to keep things moving. You know what I mean? Um, it can <laughs> cause gastro distress depending on what kind you take and make sure you eat with it. And it's also good for joints, um, heart health. I think your circulatory system... But any good doctor 
should be doing, if you have like problems with pain or you're tired, any good doctor should be doing full blood work, checking everything. And full blood work is not one page. It's pages and pages, checking all your vitamin <clears throat> levels, checking your hormones, everything like that. And they should be talking to you about supplementation diet in addition to any kind of medication. If they're not considering what might be deficient in your system, I would either talk to them about it or find a new doctor. That's my opinion on it. I, I'm not opposed to modern medicine. I just think a more holistic approach is always a good idea. And what does it hurt to have blood work done? Like, just figure it out, like find out what's going on. You could be deficient in iron and not know it and then they're prescribing something completely different, but you need a liquid iron supplement. You know, like sometimes there's a myriad of things that can be wrong. We didn't know Zeb had Hashimoto's till we did um, blood work. Sometimes you can get, you can do blood work and they can see levels that are off and find cancer through blood work. There's just a lot of good things that can be done. My mom actually had some significant depression issues in her, I think it was her 50s. I was a, a kid at home then because she had me late in life. And it wasn't until they did blood work and did her medication based off of that, that she saw any relief. So I'm a firm believer in seeing a doctor who has like a multifaceted approach and getting blood work done and then having them recommend the supplementation that'll work for you. And then follow up with more blood work just to make sure it's working and making sure your levels are safe. Cause you definitely can um, over supplement. Supplements don't mean take whatever you want as much as you want <laughs> and it's not gonna hurt you. Um, you gotta be careful. Yeah, you don't just because it's over the counter anything. doesn't mean that it's like... Yeah, magnesium can help with sleeping. Um, a lot of people take it at night. I eat my bigger meal in the middle of the day. And so I will typically take my magnesium whenever I've had a big meal. Um, and I tend to um, tolerate it better. Uh, I know you guys are going to be shocked by this, but I'm breaking out <laughs> the dark Caitlin says, line. this information is just an opinion, as Jamie said. Always check with your doctor. We are not liable for any information shared. Disclaimer. No warranties expressed or implied. I am a thrifter and DIYer, not a medical professional. All right. So shocking. I've got some golden rule, which is like a gold gilding wax. And then I've also got the dark wax. These are all like this. So this is the clear in case I need to erase some. But since this is cottage colors, it's got a built-in sealer. I should be able to go just straight onto the wax and it won't absorb in. We might get a little absorption just because it's like super fresh and you guys just saw me heat gunning it to get it dry. Uh, but it should, uh, should go on pretty nice and easy and add. Because right now it's just like really one note kind of blah. Just, you know, this tan croc type color. And we're going to bring all the bevels and the details back out. It does sometimes have to do with insurance paying. You are right. If you do have to pay cash for blood work, sometimes you can get your doctor to order it. And it's cheaper than going straight through the company doing the blood work. Like it's crazy. Our, we get our blood work done here in Utah by Intermountain Healthcare. And I think if we were to just pay for it, it's like $1,000 for like the full panel because we have to, we are self-employed. So insurance is a situation. Um, but if we go through our doctor and pay her in advance and they bill her, it's only like 600, which is a lot. But if you think of how much healthcare cost, it's really important. Well, so. now she's got a phlebotomist and they do it in house. Yeah. So it only was Oh like, yeah, it's even less. It was huh? like 400 the last time I did it. Cookie says, you will know that if you overdo it. And Scott says, so no, Jamie told me to do it. No, that's not a viable excuse. Jamie told you to check with your doctor. <laughs> I'm going to see that print's done. Oh, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's ready to go. All right, I'm going to bring this close so you can see the detail once I get, it's just so big. I got to kind of do it out here away from you guys, so. We'll bring this up closer in just a sec. And I'm not going to let this sit. I mean, typically, you let your waxes sit for a minute, absorb down in. We're going to zip a lot of this wax right back off. This is just an accent wax to kind of bring the details out a little more. So that it's not just looking flat and blind your eye. 
I'm also kind of a hippie. I get foot zoned every week. And I think it's amazing. <laughs> Zeb is skeptical. He doesn't go. Our chiropractor moved. So there's another chiropractor that we don't know at that office, but I think we're going to try to find somewhere closer. So yeah, we'll we were, we were, more often. we were traveling to another town to see him. And now we're like, well, he's gone. So maybe we'll just get closer to home. And if you ever hear me like get kind of out of breath going up and down the stairs, I do have low iron. That is, if you're out of breath a lot, that sometimes your blood's just oxygenated. It's not oxygenated enough. All right. So I am going to have to come back with some of that clear wax. This isn't like a super deep bevel. So it's kind of just sitting down in there like age would, not necessarily like a actual like crease for it to hold the wax i screw this up again did you cut the wrong bunny no i'm just saying no, i'm not cutting the bunny i'm cutting the corner of the bunny so the floral matches my theme here so back to the uh, the being sick all the time question Another thing we run up against is our kids go to school still and they bring a lot of things home to us. If you overdo uh, magnesium, you're going to have some pretty significant <clears throat> gastrointestinal distress. That's where we're going to, where we're going to go with that without uh, going into great detail. Okay. I'm just making sure I'm correct here. I feel like I need to. All right, I was going to erase some of this, but it actually wiped off pretty good as I kept working at it. This over. And I, I'm liking where we're at with some of the age here. It's kind of blend it. You don't want to look, you don't want it to look streaky like you just did it. You want it to look like it's been on there a hundred years. A hundred. A hundred. That's not looking quite like a full. Hundred. Okay. A full 80. That's like maybe a solid 40. <clears throat> if I use black acrylic paint, on ceramic and want to highlight it. So if it's like acrylic paint, you probably, you don't need to use clear unless it's like ultra matte. I don't know, uh, cause it's every paint's different, but I don't think you would have to use clear. I can't, I can't really say for other products that I don't carry or use on a regular basis, how to use them because I'm not, I'm not like a walking encyclopedia of DIY. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm ready to start working. Let me go check. I'm gonna go outside real quick and check and see if my frame is dry or my mat is dryish. Now, if this would be easy if it was just a one holer frame, I would just put one big sheet of Deborah paper. Deborah says, here, "Come on in." It's got all these little holes in it, so I gotta get it just Darryl's right. Sitting out there, he's done with his oil change. He's sitting out what? there in the car waiting for us to finish. Okay. All right. I may add more dark wax. Oh, let me. I forgot my gold wax. It does not take a lot. Um, I'm just going to kind of hit some high spots here. Just add a little more depth to this a little shimmer. Shimmer. All right. If you guys. I don't think people even watch that video anymore. It's with old. Lady. It was like eight years old when you found she it. She did makeup and she's like, you just put it on like a windshield wiper and you put some shimmer and you swipe it. And every time we talk about a shimmer, like we can't not reference that lady. I think she sold unique. It's like an MLM type makeup. I actually used their lip gloss for a while. Oops. What? Curtain down. Just looking for the Windex. Not the Windex. No. Don't let them know all the secrets. I know. That underneath that sinks the situation. I did clean it out though. It was pretty bad and I, it's not organized because I don't really care that much, but I cleaned it out. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna wipe some of this gold back off too because 
It's looking a little streaky. The way Anne says spots. she takes potassium per her doctor, but she's still getting twitches in her eye. Yeah, sometimes some supplements, now I don't know all of them, but some of them, like if you take one, you should take it with something else. Or uh, like if you take B supplements, not everybody can digest B supplements well and take them in. So you need a methyl methylated B. That's why it's always good to now have a doctor. Now we're getting into some deep. Now uh, we're getting into the science some, of supplementation. Yeah. These the, the conversation always takes a fun turn on here. It's like a you never it's like a live podcast you can interact with. Well, people just think because you have a camera and you have a YouTube channel that you know things. <laughs> I'm like, don't believe everything you hear on TV. They let anybody have a YouTube channel. That's how we got here. Okay. This was so dirty. You could see the outline of all the like little frames, <laughs> like all the shapes on it. So I'm just I'm just running on along here, kind of soft. I, I'm not taking all the gold off, but I do want to take it off of like the big flat areas where it wouldn't normally really blend. I got it just right. That was a lot more precision than I usually execute in a day. <laughs> you wouldn't. Usually, think so. you leave the tiny little crafty work to me. Yeah, well, you're busy over there with your giant project. I am going to be so happy this is done. This will this this was in this week's thrift right. haul. So when you see us thrifting through the week, um, those will be available for purchase Saturday night, eight thirty Mountain Time, is when we go live and show all that off and give you pricing and sell it. Uh, and and if you have the app, the Jamie Ray Vintage app. Um, you get a push notification. So if you like see something through the week that we thrifted and you're like, oh, I need that. I want that. When the push notification goes out, that's when you can go like get the alert and go find it before everybody else does. And We have a lot of people that try to buy stuff early, but to keep it fair, we just list once a week and to keep our life organized and keep Caitlin not from <clears throat> losing her mind, filtering email request. It's just once a week. I don't even know if this little uh, bit of gold even is going to show up family, a lot on camera. Uh, one time my niece Desiree wanted to pre-buy something and I was like, it'll be listed Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. Good luck. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Let's see if we can bring that close. I think this is going to go crockery too because I think it'd be... Should I do crockery or Americana? Uh, maybe Americana. That'd be kind of springy. My clay is dry to the oh, touch. Oh, look at that. You did good. You I did, did it all good. by myself. So proud. All right. I need the little brush. Ow. Okay. Well, I'm going to go grab the print here. So I'm going to use a different color. I'm switching over to Americana. I promise new colors will be coming very soon. If you're tired of seeing me use the old, same old colors. All right, the white is looking good underneath that. It is a little larger than my board, which is what I wanted. Okay, so if you're just joining us, I showed this earlier. This is the print that we're replacing. You know, go back and watch the replay. Uh, but I think once we get this in the frame, it's going to be amazing. I am going to set that aside over here for a sec. Zeb's over here doing high-end art, and I'm like, I got bunnies. You know, I think your bunnies might be more popular than my high-end art. Well, the fun thing is we if are. you, like, copy those shapes, you can make different seasonal prints to go in. Like, do it different, like, little collages, and then just change them out and store them behind each other. And they've got one thing that you change out all the time. And trust me, we got plenty of paper for you for every season. All right, so I'm just coming in with Americana. I think I need to fix All my right. brush. Look at this. Careful not to fling. I've got to get glue on this. <laughs> I have super glue over here. What happened to your brush? Oh, do you have super glue? Yeah. Can you pass some here? Yeah. Because I can't reach that far. All right. This bird actually already sold. So if you're new here, when we list things on Saturday. So that was from last Saturday. Um, yeah, it's from last week. We list things we put will be painted. Because some people want dibs on it even before they know what we're going to do with it. And then we always make sure every week anything that's sold gets done first. And so there's some things that don't get painted every week. And then some weeks we do massive painting 
and get a bunch of stuff done. All right. I know All this right. is going to be scary, but I'm going to clip the corners of this print so that I can fold them over nice and neat. Oh, 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 be careful. Robin got the bird. Well, this is your bird, Robin. It's getting done. You fix the legs. I'm probably going to do a little um, dark waxing, but not today. Um, just to bring out some of the detail. I haven't decided. We'll see what all it looks right, like when it's all the way dry. Watch your elbow there. I gotta just cut this one here. Okay. Now I can fold good. <laughs> I won't ship this for a few days because I want that glue and clay to dry all the way and I want to be like happy with my repair. And then I'll ship it out. If I'm not happy, I might do like some epoxy or something. And I'm not fixing the tail that's broken. We're just going to go with a blunt edge because if I were to try to put something on here, I'm just worried that it would just like crack off because I don't really have a lot to attach to. Kathleen says she likes liquid vitamins. My iron is liquid. Tastes disgusting, but it works. I got my mom taking it too. Just trying to get this nice and tight on here since I'm not gluing it. I just thrifted one like that in light green and resold it in December. One of these birds or yeah, I don't know if, if that's what she's talking about. I would buy this all day long. Like this is really cute. Anything with birds is always you popular. You put a bird on it. That's why there's a bird on our logo. It's like a little crack in here. I can't decide if I want to paint it or just leave it up to texture. I'm just going to paint inside of it because it's kind of an aged look. Nope. I'm going to put some clay in there. Oh, Aaron said, yes, the bird on the books. It's funny because since our channel has many more views, there's people that are like, you just buying a bunch of junk. I'm like, you say that like it's a bad thing. Do you see my sweatshirt? I love junk. <laughs> the crustier, the better in a lot of cases. I Sometimes like you get too crusty and you're like, okay, that's all the way gone. Yeah. I like a good challenge. You found a liquid iron that tastes good? Ooh. Well, that's, that's good. My li The thing I like about my liquid iron is it doesn't mess with my gastrointestinal system. Just tastes gross. All right. Fix this little. So I just used a little super glue because I had it out handy. And I put some clay in that little book hole there. All right. This is going to take me a hot minute to tape this, I can see. <laughs> Your taping is going to be like my taping where I literally just spent half an hour taping bunnies on a piece of paper. They're like, what did you watch Jamie and Zeb to do? I watched them tape paper. I did repair this bird. I actually think I overpaid for it. Since it was broken, it shouldn't have been $3. But that's all right. Emma says she loves the junk. The bunny papers are not released yet. We have not finalized them, so those may they may not even look like that. We the, are in the one with the little collage. I literally threw up together right before the live stream because yeah, we're I'm in like, the R and D stage. We got this little frame, and it is not sized appropriately or shaded correctly. It's got it needs a lot of work still. Oh, but we do have a vintage Easter paper that is thirty by twenty that has bunnies on it. Caitlin linked that, and then we also have a really great Valentine's Day paper. And the big 30 by 20 is like $6.99, I think. It's a, a tissue paper. So it's not as thick as the rice paper. There's another hole I got to fix. And, um, but yeah, it's pretty great. And it's a good deal. Like you buy one of those sheets, you're going to be crafting all your little things to as much as you probably want to craft. Our postcard papers are some of our most popular papers, like our Santa postcards. We have the Valentine's Day one and the Easter one because they're a really good value. If you like to do small projects, you can make ornaments, you can take blocks of wood and make little old signs, you can frame it. 
If you're going to do the tissue paper, I would suggest buying some white cardstock, and then you can just put that behind the tissue paper if you're going to put it in a frame, and then you don't have to um, like paint it. Okay. Please get those bikes done soon. The bikes. The bikes. Oh, we still have bikes. I think we have bikes. Maybe she typed the wrong word. I don't know. What bikes? Do we buy bikes? Mm -mm. Well, Christine, you have to tell me what you mean by bikes. I'm like, I don't remember thrifting a bike. Oh no, now this is It stuck. would be better to, to use archival tape on my print, but in this type of application, <clears throat> it's not like. You know, I went to go order some and it hasn't arrived yet and I'm worried it's well, lost. I don't, I don't think it would be a problem for this because you're taping the part that you're not seeing. Yeah. Like if you were putting it on the part that you'd see, then it'd be an issue. Oh, we've been on an hour. Oh, hold on. Let me go fix the camera. I'm coming. I'm just fixing the camera. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this little bird up close. So if you saw so in the beginning, he had his little broken legs. Now it might crack a little as it dries, and I'll deal with that when that happens. But... Oops. So we repaired the legs, we glued them, we put some paper clay on there, and then I repaired a few spots in the books that had holes. So I'll let this dry overnight. I'll probably put another coat of paint on it, make sure I like the repair, and it'll be good. And then I'll show you guys my bunny art. It's going to get some dark wax in the detail, but. Oops, there we go. I'll do it at an angle so there's not too much glare. And I didn't do full coverage, so you can see some of the dark, like undercoat of the original paint oh, that finish. Turned out really good, though. But I'll I'll add a little bit of dark wax, or I might leave it as is. I haven't decided. All right, I'm going to be over here off camera doing these corners. And then All I right. think I'm going to try to put it in here and we can show them. Do you have any paper left for that little frame? Mm -mm. None, um, none papers? I don't know. It. I could maybe do this one. No, but it's not tall enough. It would be weird if I put it on there like this and you only got to see the one eye like a side eye bunny. <laughs> but I can use this paper and I can just print another one. But is that the bird one? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a... Because that one's typically only for the craft kit. I know, look at me. The rebel. I'm a rebel without a cause. I think I'm just gonna do this bird here. Yeah, it's cute. Or maybe I can do. <laughs> it's weird because I can't get both birds in the print. So I'm not gonna do it. We'll print out something that fits there better. I don't wanna like cut off a bird's face. It'll be very nice. No, don't cut the bird's face. So this one I'm just going to paint, maybe. I need to figure out what I'm going to put in here, and then I'll decide if I'm going to paint it or if I'm just going to clean it up. I guess if I'm going to sit here, I might as well paint something. Yeah, get to work. You're such a slave driver. People always think I'm the one cracking the whip. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm more of a slacker than Zed. I always have a timeline in the back of my mind that I'm like, oh, we went over that. Unless there's something else he really would rather do. Like he was going to finish our dining table on Monday and then he's like, let's go. He thrifted some bows. And so he took the boys out to our property to shoot bows. I can convince him to do stuff like that. But just 
depends on how I have it to, is. <clears throat> I have to be careful because sometimes like even even on like holiday situations, like Christmas Christmas Day, it was like three in the afternoon. I'm like, I'm kind of bored. I probably should do a project or something, work on something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at relaxing. Like the kids had played with all their stuff. Like they kind of well, dispersed. Well, your cousin came over and I go out in the garage and he's cutting and sanding wood. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, Aaron needed some wood. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like it's Christmas. Taking some time off. Yeah. Time off is a relative word. But hopefully we'll get that. I mean, it was like nine o'clock at night by then. It was almost not Christmas. It was all, I mean, East Coast, it was done. No, it was only 11 in East Coast. We're only two hours, aren't we? Yeah. We do have Christmas down in our main living area. We still have our Christmas tree up and our garlands in the family room. And we'll probably take that down by the end of the week. It's not really in the way of anything. And the kids like to have the Christmas lights on at night. They're still out of school, so. So I'm not worried about full coverage with this because like the little um, frame over there. I'm probably going to dark wax this. How did your son like his black dresser? He loved it. Yeah, it he actually put it in his closet. So it's like hiding in the closet. Yeah, but so he wanted it, it for his- It fit perfect underneath his shirts, so. He wanted it for his walk-in closet. We get to his, his little basement apartment to drop it off. And I'm like, well, I guess I overdid it on that. Worrying about being like, super neat and Didn't tight. even need to paint it, but it looks good. And if he moves it anywhere else, it'll yeah. look great. And it's all he asked for for Christmas. We got him other stuff, but that's all he asked for. I kept it like, is there anything else you want? He's pretty easy to please. Well, he's at that age where like he's got a pretty good job. If he wants or needs stuff, he just usually goes and gets he it. He definitely, I mean, he's not, he's not married, doesn't have kids. He has extraneous cash to spend on himself. He's pretty good because he likes to like pay things off and spend money like doing yeah, things. Yeah, he just bought a car this summer. He's like, I'll have it paid off by January. I'm like, well, good, good job. Yeah. And he works a lot. He gets his work ethic from his dad. Don't kid yourself. You're a hard worker. I don't work. I just have fun. If it starts to feel like work, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. I will, but. All right. I think I got enough tape on here. I can show the you. Vintage I might... Hydrangea, Zeb, said that she did a project on Christmas evening. Who? The Vintage Hydrangea. She said she worked on a project Christmas evening. See, there you go. I'm not alone. We have 775 people here. Workaholics in the world unite. Yeah. Well, as long as you love what you do, it's, it's fun. That's the thing. Like when I go out to the property, I'm like a kid out there. I just like want to move a bunch of dirt and like, like I was, we, we hiked up the hill with the boys to kind of go see, cause I'd never really been to the Northeast corner. Um, and we marked that out. I was looking for a marker, but I only have one pin that I can see in the southeast corner. Um, so we're going to have to triangulate off of that or get another survey. But I was seeing how hard it would be to fence up there, and it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of trees that need moved or finagled around to, to put a fence. Because eventually, the 10-year plan... Uh, I'd like to run a couple head of cattle out there, get some water and, you know. Crystal said, how was it hitting 200,000 subscribers? It was amazing it was because exciting. we've been working on that for like five years. Yeah. Four years. Well, in 2018, we hit a hundred. And then by the end of 2018, we're at a hundred and like 60 something. And then it kind of really crawl. slowed down and we've been like five years trying to get to 200. We can never get everything going good all at the same time. Like our Facebook, over here real since quick. we got hacked this last summer, our Facebook is really taken to like a slow, we, we did just hit 150, but we do not, people tell me all the time, they're not even seeing my stuff as much. So we're trying to help get that going. I'm like, why can't we ever have like Facebook rocking and YouTube rocking like at the same time? I don't know. <laughs> but I'll just, I'm just glad that it's doing well. Last year at this time, our channel, we were lucky if we got a video over 10,000 views. And yesterday's video, I think hit 40,000 views already, which yeah. is insane. Like such a huge blessing because now we were getting like a hundred thousand views on videos on Facebook. And now the reverse is we're lucky if we get 
15,000 views or 10,000 views on a Facebook video. So it's just funny how things work out. Same content, putting up both places, but. All right, here's the reveal. That's good. Did it turn out good as the frame? I, I think it's, it's similar to what was in there, but more updated. So and I didn't like the bright, shiny gold with the regular, yeah. like kind of faded wood stain. So you know where I want to put that? Where? I don't know where you're putting I want to put it over the wood area in the shop. We have oh, that okay. big, long display, and that'll be about the right length to just be up there on the wall. So not going to lie, this will probably be in the 400 plus range. Locally. And I'm not listing it online. Um, because I have no idea how much it would cost to ship. So that's awesome. I like it. But I gotta get the I gotta get the backer on here. I still gotta put brown paper on the back, but let me see. Can you guys I wanna show you this this passes the six foot art rule. If you don't know what that is, if you stand back six feet from your art or whatever you're looking at and it looks good, then it passes the test, it's good to go. Because some art is designed to not look like what it is up close, and then you step back and you can see the whole picture but that's just like this life. is good up close too like it's not pixelated which i'm loving sometimes you have to sit back in life and not so that's you're about on the camera you're about two feet away right there and it's still pretty sharp and crisp but super happy with that i i got this because it was more of like a challenge um to see I, I needed to print something big i'm i'm still learning how to do custom sizes on the printer and have them print out right and not be pixelated or blown out looking well we have a so lot this of... was essentially like a okay that's five feet wide let me see what i can print and put on that so that i kind of know what the capabilities are of my software and the printer and things like that I could have just printed it without a frame, but it's much cooler to like print it and have a finished project when you're done. Well, you don't want to waste it. No, and we yeah. have frames for days. Seb hasn't even delved into my <laughs> stash of frames we moved from our, our old shop to The cool ago. part is, is I could have, e I don't have canvas this size. I could have easily put this on canvas and that would have been amazing for this. But, you know, next time. If you guys are on Facebook and you're not seeing us in your feed, what you need to do is go to Jamie Ray Vintage and search for it and then comment find a video find a picture comment share it and come back frequently and if you do that over a couple of weeks we should start showing up in your feed again All i was right. going to do a white dry brush but you tainted this white yeah, it's, so, it's got crockery in there we're going to call it good off camera we'll get these finished we are going to be working on more thrift flips today and they will be on tomorrow's edited video we're going to head to the Goodwill bins because we've sold a ton of books. And so we're hoping to find and some we always books. find the best books and all the all the blankets and stuff sold too. I yeah, think. every single bank blanket that we thrifted has sold. So if you like this video, please share it out, especially if you're, if you're on Facebook. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, you guys. All right. I got to stop fussing with this. It's like trying to fall out the back. <laughs>